ago I wanted to become the next Usain Bolt you know I saw myself running across the racetracks bringing glory to Nigeria but unfortunately that is not the case today but that has not stopped us from celebrating young Nigerian talents who we believe have something to offer the country in the future we are at Teslim Balogun Stadium we are middle hall schools one of the top schools one of the best schools in Lagos is holding their inter-house sports activities now we are going to be bringing you clips from this event we are going to be talking to a few people just to make you understand that yes there are indeed talent in this country that can take us to the next level when it comes to sports. My name is Abisola Alaode and this is Legit TV. Wow. My name is Ola Yinka Obafisoye, Mrs. Um, head of School, Meadow Hall Education. Okay, so Ma, I just want to ask you one question today. Why should parents choose this school? Wow. <laughs> um, I, I would not consider another school. You know, the fantastic thing for me is I'm not only a member of staff in Meadow Hall, I'm also a blessed parent, you know, of two sons in, the, in our school. Um, so when I speak to you, I'm not speaking as um, just as a, a stakeholder. I'm a stakeholder in different capacities. So I've benefited as a mother um, of Meadow Hall education for my sons. So if, if you're thinking of why Meadow Hall, you know, the question is why not? Uh, why would you consider another school when you have a school that is very 21st century compliant. You have a school that is not just about the academic education. We're also big on values. Uh, Meadow Hall has got seven core values. The first is Christ. We're unapologetically um, a faith school. We teach our pupils the academic education. We teach them values. We teach them um, citizenship, community. Um, cleanliness. Well, you know, we, we, we have a lot of values that we try to imbibe into our children. Like I said, you know, we're very 21st century compliant. We very strongly practice an inclusion. Um, inclusion in the sense that every child is welcome. Um, whatever, irrespective of your ability, your creed, your faith, your tribe, your nationality, your ability, we, we embrace and we cater to every need of every child. My name is Toya Awe Joseph. I'm Director of Studies, Meadow Hall School. Um, okay, uh, we understand today is the inter-house part of this great school. Yes. And I just want to know, what was involved in putting an event of this nature together? Now I'm asking because this is a stadium. They play at national events are to take place here. So what was involved in putting an event of this nature together? Okay, first of all, um, I would like to start with the importance of sports. As a school, we um, believe that our children must be involved in sporting activities because it helps to, breathe, to build team spirits. It also helps to, help to make the children mentally alert. And when they are mentally alert, it will help in their studies. It will help them to do better in their studies. It helps them to have both mindsets because in all sporting events, you know, you are not necessarily going to be the winner and you're going to see your failures. And in seeing your failures, you are able to see how to improve. So that's why it will foster growth mindset in children. And now to the preparation. We had about three days of different sporting events. So we started with the infant school children and the KS1, that is KS1 and 2. We had that on Wednesday 13th. And then we moved on to our, um, our um, second, I mean, we have a site in Ikui. And so we had our event on Thursday. And that too went well. And so 
Well, today is the grand finale, and this is for the older children in college and cares too. And for us to, you know, to have a successful event as this, a lot has come into place. Um, the teachers, the team, the staff members, you know, came together. We had different committees. We had to do a lot of reconnaissance. We had to come to this site to see how the place looks. Not once, not twice, not thrice. We came as a team, you know, to view the place to see um, how to make it comfortable for the children. And the reason why we chose a facility like this is to build the future of the children. Now we know that children don't necessarily end up being doctors and lawyers again. Children can go into sports, they can go into other um, professions in life. And for such children that would choose to go into sports, this would help to build their future, to prepare them. So it's good for them to use a standard, um, you know, sports facility like this one so that they can you know they can compete when they go you know to other parts of the world and um, for parents out there I would like you to know that Meadow Hall is the best place to be if you want a well-rounded child both academically spiritually even in the aspect of sports and extracurricular activity co-curricular activities please choose Meadow Hall and as also the chairman of the board. Why did you choose to bring your child to the school? Uh, chairman of the education chairman board. The education board yeah. um, I chose it because of the importance now of ensuring that we train this, genera this, this generation for the future of Nigeria. Uh, Meadow Hall is a school that is uh, not just, you know, um, looking out for the, for the children. They're also very particular about the teachers because, you know, Without good teachers, we what are we training? Who are we? Who are we training? And so that long-term vision to ensure that the real learning takes place. And then apart from that, the culture, the values. Meadow Hall is a school that has uh, very strong values. No, there are not too many um, educational institutions that that leave out their values. Meadow Hall. When, when you look at the core values, you, you find it here, you find it here. Uh, and, and you see it reflect in the life of the children. Um, um, I mean, you see it in the number of children that are in the school. To have that many children, the primary, the secondary, and still be able to create an environment where there's, there's, there's always co continuous improvement, it's, it's incredible. So, so it's, yeah, one okay, of the reasons. Yeah. Okay, uh, so quickly, I, I'd like you to talk about the importance of sports in the life of kids. Uh, we understand today is the entire sport of this school, but generally, general, as a parent, how important is sports in the life of kids today? Very important. I mean, I, I stepped into this arena, and I was, you know, one thing, space. Children love space. I mean, we have a, we have a, a fairly good facility okay. in the school. But, you know, when you come to a stadium like this, what you do is you, you open up the mind of a child. Um, this is, I mean, my son is an athlete, you know, he, he runs, he plays basketball. And, you know, when he came here to do his uh, training, and he saw the, the track and field and the size of it, you know, it made him step up. He was excited. So what you do, I mean, it went even to sports, and building the confidence of a child. It, it, it's 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 something you can you can quantify. Um, so so you you get the confidence in the child. You get the teamwork, the ability to to, to work with other people. You saw the relay we just watched now. Yes. It's teamwork, and children are able to express themselves. If we're going to build the Nigeria of tomorrow, we need we need children who have exposure and are able to express themselves. And it starts at a very young age, where you allow them to. To bring, you know, to the gifts they are, they carry, let them express it. Some are good in, 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 in track and field, others are good in other areas, but provide the avenue for them. So when we talk specifically on for sports, it's it's an opportunity to let that young future Hussein Bolt, a future um, 
um, what's his name, the basketball player, uh, uh, Reverend James, uh, or uh, uh, the next, Michelle, exactly. It allows them to begin to express that gift at a very young age. And here, I'm sure we're going to discover some talent today.